beautiful people, my name is Naila, your host for the Art of Living show here at Nairobi City. Our guest today exudes an air of sophistication and timelessness. He orchestrates his life with a blend of style and adventure. His insatiable appetite for the finer things in life is unmistakable. Here is to a senior bachelor, former C-suite mother, and oh my God, he loves to live his life on the fast lane. He is none other than Michael O'Quiri. He invites us to his home to have a look around and to have a conversation. Let's discover, explore, and engage. Knock, knock. Hello, hey, Michael. Hey, How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Good to yeah. see you. Let me shake your hand okay. and probably <laughs> hug you. Thank you for opening your space to us. Oh, you're this is a little plant for you to say yeah. thank you from Art of Living. Thank you so much. Yeah, I hope yeah. you'll take care of it. I will. You will. You're yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, so all these toys. Yeah. Um, that's a Vespa. It's, they're actually really old um, Italian bikes. Okay. Um, used over all over um, Italy because you know they're good in uh, traffic. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's as modern as um, you know like as this, this one, for yes. example. I mean, yes. Yeah, this, this has a lot of toys. Yeah. But it's still I, I'd call it a classic. Classic. Yeah. It was actually I bought it was was white and then changed the color to to this golden hue in the seat yeah yeah it looks amazing yeah. i love it talk to me about this motorbike ah it's my dream come true by the way Would you believe this is not a motorbike no way it's actually a really big scooter what yeah it's a big scooter because the, the you know the difference between motorbikes and scooters is the motorbike you're able to change your gear okay and you use your left foot to do that okay Scooters, you don't. Um, the, the gear, which, you know, paddle is on is on the handle. Oh, the, oh okay. Yeah, but okay. this particular one also is automatic, so you don't need to change gears. It just changes itself as you um, as you as you move on. You you have been on an adventure with it. The farthest you've been to is where the petrol station. Ah! Ah, no way, no way. Guys, can you believe this guy? No. To the uh, petrol station with this. I'm My goodness, I'm, 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 I, I, was, I, yeah. I was waiting for you to say maybe Mombasa, I've been to Nakuru. Not yet. It's, not yet. Not yet. You know, I, and as much as I like bikes, I, I love bikes. And yeah. Sometimes I think I just like looking at them. Really? It's, it's certain How, points the fact in the city you've been to the petrol dangerous. station. I lie, maybe around the block and back here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Somebody needs to motivate this guy to just get this motorbike out of town. Please, somebody do this for us. For just, just for the rest of us enthusiasts. Please, somebody do this for us. I love it. Let's talk about your car. Um, I love it. Um, um, it's a Mercedes. Um, I, I don't actually use it much. I, okay. I get scared of um, going out with it. Why? Uh, well, someone it's could too... knock it and okay, stuff okay. like that. So okay. it's, it's usually here. Half the time the battery runs out, but when, when it moves, it's a beautiful car to drive. So it's you beautiful. just want to admire it and just have it there? Yeah. Michael. I, yeah. I, was, I was going through a midlife crisis, I think. Fabulousness. Yeah. Just yeah. look, just tearing at it. Yeah. So we can go there. right in? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Let's do that. <laughs> Welcome to my slice of heaven. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Life is made of choices. Remove your shoes or really scrub is. the it's floor. I'm not ready to scrub the floor, so let me remove my <laughs> shoes. So I love, I love the floor. Let's talk about the floor yeah. before we talk about your magnificent home. It's truly a slice of heaven. Did you put the wooden floor or you found it this way? Found it here. Okay. Um, it was um, part of the property. Okay. And it was one of the, actually one of the key reasons um, I moved into this. Okay. particular property okay um because you know wood is generally quite warm yes and um most construction these days is going to you know they're using tiles yes which makes all the living areas um seem uh a little cold agreed yeah so um and it was actually difficult to find a house with decent uh, wooden floors but this is certain this is not your usual wooden floor what not which not. one is which one is this 
Um, it's it's actually like I'm not sure which one it is, but yeah. I, I know some of it comes in from the Congo. Okay. Yeah. It looks amazing, so yeah. beautiful. I love the fact that you have played around with the rugs to create um, a, a beautiful fusion with all the deco pieces that you have in the house and the furniture. Yeah. But I just saw that crystal ball. Yeah. And talk to me about that. It's quite fascinating. What's oh, that? It's, it's, Is it like some charm when you walk into my house, you have to, you know, like bow down and I don't know, do something. Well, um, it, you see it's, it? it's, 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 I, I wish it was. <laughs> it's uh -huh. a tarnish in the electronic shop, you know, there's all this lightning. Yes, um, yes. Bits of lightning going through and yeah. when you touch it, the, yes. the light actually moves with your hand. Yes. And uh, I actually find it nice and play with it. It's nice. Yeah. It fits in this space. You're very particular. I can tell with your deco pieces, everything that you have in this space is invested. Talk to me about what you had in mind before creating this ambience because it's well thought out. I see there is a fusion of flowers and textures. Talk to me about that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure it was well thought out. Let me, let me start off with that. Okay. It kind of evolves. All right. Sometimes I'm not sure whether it's, you know, you sit on the couch, you're watching TV and you think, hmm, a fan would look good up there. Yes. Um, then you work towards that. Then All you right. think. Uh, uh -huh. um, the thing about design, though, is once you start on a certain pattern, whether yes. it's modern, whether it's floral, whether yes. it's Napoleonic. Yes. Um, I, I feel you need to keep the theme. You can't have too many themes in one particular space. Yes. So I started off with what probably looks like traditional British. Um, um, pieces. Mm -hmm. um, I had to jazz them up with the um, seat covers, you know, like, and I went floral. So okay. once I started floral, it just seemed to um, f be themed all over yes, um, your space. this particular space. Yeah. I see the wallpaper. I see the seat. I see some cushions. I like that. It's it's not very. You you know it's it's not there is no symmetry in how you've done it. You've played around with it, making it such a creative space. You know, I've walked in here and it's such good vibes. The creativity in this space is amazing. You in one corner, somebody might think you're in a different house. This corner is a different space. It looks amazing. Um, talk to me about the couches. How did you invest in these couches? They are different as well. Like the one right behind you, that is different. Like it's not your conventional seat. You know, they're not yeah. similar. They're from different, um, um, I'm not, I'm not um, trying to advertise them, but yes. this, this, this particular, that particular piece, I think was um, from Henry West. Okay. Then um, there's another um, firm on Kijabe Street. The okay. In fact, they both closed down. They closed down a few years ago. The Henry okay. West guys yeah. closed down and took off to, uh, I think it was Mauritius and retired. All oh, right. Um, this is an Italian piece. It, uh, it, is it your favorite piece? Is this like your masterpiece? Um, I like it. There's something about it that I there's can't... There's something about it, yeah. Yeah. What do you like about it mostly? Um, I also needed to infuse some modern design because some, some of these are very traditional. Yes. So just to create a sense of mo modernity yes. around the room. So I needed okay. to infuse some of this mm -hmm. so that it kind of lifts the room to a new era. Yes. Um, stuff like this. Okay. Um, stuff like the flamingo feathers. Yes. yes. On that and... You know, that's a lampshade. That's that's yeah. Can you that's imagine how yeah. cool is that? It's so unconventional. I love it, and it's all white feathers. Looks like it feels like clouds or cotton wool. So nice. I love it. Um, I talked about the style of your seats. Yes, not conventional. You've infused something more than mm -hmm. there. Your cushions as well not conventional. You've picked different pieces of cushions, the, the, the cushion covers. Um, why that style? This style is, some of it is floral and it's this, on this particular one, it's, um, it's, the floral theme remains. Yes. But um, I just used pastel colors yeah. over there. Yeah. Um, then 
you know. And I love the detail on it. You guys should just see this. I'm just noticing these little details because you know it's not your usual cushions that you see every day. It looks really, really nice. They look um, like pineapples. Yeah, it looks like yeah. pineapple. Um, yeah. The other exciting thing that I'm seeing in your face, and guys, I wish you were here, but we are bringing it for you guys to just enjoy this amazing space, is the tech in your space. That's a fun right there. Yeah, that's a fun. Um, uh -huh. You know, when, when it's off, it's actually a fan. And then for, I, I don't know how the technology works and you, you see images as the fan goes around, okay. which is um, tied to an app on your phone and you can put any image on that mm -hmm. fan. to ask you when I walked in is how big is your house how many rooms is it it's actually relative if, if you look at it from a traditional perspective it's five bedrooms okay but um, change one into study change one into a TV room okay um, change one into uh, well I guess one's a guest bedroom there's the main bedroom yeah and down here there's also meant to be um, another room which I've converted into a pseudo dining area so cool do you dine a lot there no, I think it's a, it's it's a bit of a, it's a bit too cozy for me. So it's too cozy for you. Yeah. So you, we, we're going to go out. We're going to go outside. Yeah, yeah. There's something that the, the style of your home is quite fun to play around with. And I see what you've done with the axe. Is one of the things that you attracted you to your space, this axe? Yes, they did. Yeah. Um, initially, yeah, the axe and the floor. Yes. Um, now, but the, I, I had to because I, I needed a lot of space. That, I think this was meant to be the dining area. Okay. Um, but I just needed the whole space, and so I just used that as a seating area as opposed to dining. So most of the dining is outside. All right. You worked in technology, and I, I, I'll just go back to... You infused a, a bit of technology into your space. Other than that fun that we've talked about, anything else that you've infused in your space? Do you think tech when you're thinking about your space? Because you've mixed traditional things, you have a mix of modern style in your home, very eclectic. Um, any other technology? Speaking, your, oh, okay. let's yeah, talk yeah. about yeah. your fireplace. The modern one, you have the traditional one. My goodness, like yeah, well, yeah. the traditional one, you know, I, I'm useless at uh, lighting it up. Yeah, it's so I, I, cool. I don't know how people do it, it, it but that, that's my preference. Okay, yeah, so you know, it, it's, it's nice and uh, what do you call it? It's homely when the fire is, is, you know, is lights burning. Up. Yes, yes, now yes. there's the one over there, which uh, it's actually it's, it's, it, it looks nice, yeah, and it's one of the few fans I've come across that actually emit heat. A lot of them make noise, but <laughs> it's not hot. It is, it's not hot at all. Okay. I, I, but I've switched off the heat for now. Otherwise, yeah. we'd be roasting over here. Now, mm. you do well with lighting. I mean, yeah. you've infused lighting, so pops of lighting everywhere, and it's very warm. It makes your space very cozy. Talk to me about the lampshades that you've used, even those little uh, spaces that you have lighting infused there. It looks mm. amazing. And the accessories mm. in those spaces. I, I think lighting is important. Yes. Um, you know, I once had to count the number of bulbs in the house. Yes. There are over 150. The, the, the key around that is um, use LED lights because the emissions are very low. Mm -hmm. And um, just to get that cozy feel going, you yes. have all of, you know, dim lights, but all over the place dim lights all over the place yeah. that gives and, the and warm not not uh, there's you know the daylight and there's warm i usually use warm inviting and very warm let's yeah. talk about the led that was just right now actually there you go it feels so nice it is it's a little spaceman um, yeah i got i got that in a shop you don't see it very because there's a lot of lighting in here oh, yes, yes. but under normal circumstances you know you see this the stars move on the ceiling and um, 
it's 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 oh, also when really you switch off the when, when you switch off the light yeah when you switch off the lights you see it more okay. clearly and you okay. get the star constellation yeah constellation i think it started off you know with um quite honestly with rolls royce they, they, they got this thing up on the ceiling of the car uh-huh uh, where they show the star constellations, constellations mm -hmm. i'd love to see that would you guys love to yeah. see that i'd love to see that how that looks like in the night the other thing i've liked about your space is also the windows mm -hmm. the style of your windows you know floor to ceiling windows i'm seeing you're not very particular about having a very airy open bright spaces people prefer that in most homes mm -hmm. but you've decided to have lighting pops of lights in every space why is that two things i think i live like a vampire number one <laughs> So, <laughs> during yeah. the day, I used to have curtains, then yeah. put in the slats. Okay. So, what happens is you're able to control the level of light that you need in, that your, you space. Need in your space. So, okay. well, if you wake up late, for example, and you want to transit slowly... <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be shocked. You don't want to be shocked. It's, in the morning. Yeah. it's time to be awake, and you know, yeah. life is oh, nice. Yeah, so you can control that. So it's, I put that all over the place. But, okay. Yeah. So, did you get most of your furniture locally, or you've, you've imported most of your furniture? Most of it is uh, most of it is is actually local. Okay. Yeah. So locally um, sourced. Yeah. Yeah, locally okay. sourced. Maybe okay. got the best wood. Yes. Um, and if you go to the you know to the right, um, I call them furniture makers. Yeah. They do a really good job. Okay. Um, You've gone to. Not a furniture. When I say furniture maker, the people but like every West. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I thought so. I thought so. Okay. Thought well. so. Now, um, you have so many sunglasses, like accessories. There's something about your space that you, you've invested a lot with accessories. Do you buy them when you travel? Because you are a globetrotter enthusiast. Talk to me about your glasses. Talk to me about the accessories in your space and mementos. Um, I. I I got a thing about sunglasses. Okay, um, these are fancy. But no, some, some, Can yeah, I pick? Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, these are really fancy. Yeah, you guys, got, look at that. Uh -huh. I'm sure these are designer. A very designer. I got them in Harrods, I think, yeah. Could you just slay a little for us? Yeah. Makes me look like a drug kingpin. <laughs> but I've, I've seen your... You, you, buy, you, buy, you collect glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else do you collect? I actually used to need glasses until January this year. Okay. But for me, when, when, when I used to, I used to need them. But okay. It also turned into like a fashion accessory way. Yes. You know, you can put on different yes. okay. things and look different. All right. Then I had a LASIK surgery mm -hmm. in, in, yeah, in January, in, in, I think it was in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And I actually used to miss my glasses. Really? In the sense that, you know, you turn around, you know, it's the first thing that, you know, you... Um, you, yeah you actually look for in the morning yeah so now my interest then switched to sunglasses okay uh, but I, I still have to go through a process where i have to put um what do you call uv it? yeah uv on, on, okay. on all the spectacle frames that because some of them are quite nice i love them they look yeah. so stylish you're very stylish let's talk That's about you. oh thank you thank you let's talk about your accessories and things that you collect when you travel memento souvenirs mm -hmm. one memorable thing that you've picked along the many travels that you've done lately i love that clock you 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 talked about mementos and yes. you know, the one the, the ones that i actually don't even shop when i when i travel you don't at all i stopped okay you um, stopped why I stopped, right? why how much can you buy? Literally. Anyway, so unless it's something I need or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, the momentous I tend to carry now are actually fridge magnets. Okay, fridge magnets. Yeah, so okay. Started, you know, okay. everywhere I go, a I collection. Carry that sounds into, good. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Let's talk about your paintings. I love art. Yes. Um, that do you want really to see is. The more risque ones or do you want to see the Let's see the okay. family friendly ones. Okay. Yeah, like that. Let's talk about that. That looks amazing. The, yeah, that, that's, that's an African artist, eh? But okay. He seems to have this Rembrandt type. Um, I don't know who it is. Okay. Um, um, the colors tend to pop, you know, the reds and the greens. And yes. It, it came without a frame initially, so put the gold frame around, which seemed to accentuate the colors. And that was, that's, that's actually quite nice. 
So yeah. you have pops of paint, uh, paintings in different spaces. Yeah. And I see wallpaper. We'll talk about wallpaper as we go along because even on your, on your staircase, I see you still have a floral wallpaper and it looks yeah. amazing in different color. What, why, why do you love flowers? What do they, how do they make you feel? Happy? Happier, chirpier, yeah. I guess. Yeah? Um, You're a maximalist, are you? That's what someone said. I, 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 I had not heard the term before last week. Okay. So um, a friend from the US came here and he said, this is maximalism. And I, I thought, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, as yeah. opposed to yes. minimalism. Yes, And yes. he said, yeah, yeah, there's also maximalism. Yes, yes. Um, but... Um, uh, it's a good it, thing. It's a tasteful maximalism. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. absolutely... It's, not, it's, not, it's, it's nothing to do with clutter. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, it doesn't have... And, and that's yeah. what, you know, that brings me to even the, the rugs that you have on the floor. Yeah. Like you have different tastes. A little bit it's here. Mm. I like that passion carpet there. I love this. This is soft and feels so nice to yeah. step on. Um, yeah. Do you collect also carpets? Because I see you have. I do have a, a number, uh, to be honest. Okay. Um, but I, I, I was a bit conflicted because I got a huge carpet. It's a beautiful carpet. Yes. Um, and um, what happens is I moved into the house because of the floor. Yes. Now, if, if I put a big, a huge carpet all over the place, it, you know... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense because yeah. I, I want to see the floor. So yes. I start getting these little, you know... Little rags. And they rugs, make yeah. sense. I love yeah. them. Don't you guys love them for maximalists? I am one of them. Yeah. I, but this looks amazing. 